are back for another video. Hey guys, Ricardo here. Um, today we are making something that I've been really excited about. We, today we are going to be making a dart gun that is disguised as a Tic Tac container. This is a perfect piece of spycraft that you can use to uh, annoy your siblings or do anything like that. But yeah, it's going to be really cool. It's really simple, really fast to build, and it's super cheap. So without further ado, let's get started. Alright, let's get started. So, the first thing that we're going to do is take the Tic Tac container and open it like this. It's pretty easy. After a little bit of prying, uh, you're going to end up with two pieces, the container and the plastic top. Okay. After that, we're going to need to burn a hole, or melt a hole, into this side of the container. So I just took my glue gun, and I just sort of did that. It's gonna take a bit, maybe around five minutes of doing this, but after a while, you would finally get a hole. And we also need uh, scissors to cut it after it's melted, but after it's hot, it should be really easy to make a hole. There you go, just like that. You don't want to make it um, pretty big. It should be able to fit this big straw. So yeah, you're going to want it pretty big. Just keep shaving it with the scissors or using glue to make it bigger until you have it that size. Alright, that should be good. Uh, yeah, it has a pretty decent sized hole in it. Like that, and a way that you can test it is by taking the straw and putting it in, and it fits perfectly. You see how there's like the uh, glue sticking out like that? That's, that's the plastic that that uh, went inside when we stuck the glue gun in. It, the straw should fit nicely around that. Perfect. Cool, okay. So, we have- now we're going to take this thing right here, and we're also going to take a flat Lego, just a, uh, a flat rectangle shaped Lego. And what we're going to do is we are going to uh, glue the Lego like this onto the Tic Tac container. Uh, the purpose of this is to let the straw rest on it so that it's a... Uh, because right now if we put the straw through here, there's some excess there because there's nothing holding it up right here on this side, so we're just putting this Lego right here so that the straw can go through nicely. So we're just going to go ahead and do that. I'm going to take the Lego. Top of the, at the bottom of the Tic Tac container. So there you go. Fits in pretty nicely. All right. Now we are going to take the straw and we're going to cut the straw so that it fits just like this. It should be basically a little bit less than the length of the Tic Tac container. So we're gonna put it this. That is perfect. So it's almost the length of, t of the Tic Tac container, but it shouldn't be exactly the length. All right, now we're going to glue it to the, the Tic Tac container. So we're gonna put some glue on the bottom but not, don't cover the hole, because that's where the dart is going to go through. We're also going to put some glue on the side. And then now, we're going to put it in. Okay. Good. Okay. Now, we're going to take a rubber band, just like this. We're going to cut it in half. 
we're only going, we're only we're only going to need one half of the rubber band. So we're going to end with two pieces like this. We're going to dispose of one and keep the other. Now, with this rubber band, we're going to glue it right here and right here with hot glue gun. This is what's going to propel the dirt. So we'll just go ahead and cut two of the glue streak here and glue streak here. Should look like that. And then you can use more glue to secure it. All right, now waiting, while waiting for that to dry, I'm going to tell you how I made the dirt. So the dirt is basically a thin straw, just a plastic straw, and then I dismantled the pen, and I took off the cap, and I just glued it onto the end of the straw. So um, we're going to want to cut this dirt to size, and we want it about this big. So about the same length as the big straw inside here. It's gonna be yeah, this big. All right, and now we're just gonna wait for that to dry. Okay, so the glue dried, and now we are down to our last step. So we're going to take a small piece of that big straw from earlier, and this one's the tricky part. We're going to insert it into the other straw, so we're just going to connect the two. Like that. Okay, and that should give us a clear path from the top to the bottom. All right, and now we are going to take the top and we are going to cover it. Now this one's gonna be a little tricky because what you want in the end is the, the end of that big straw to go through that hole. So it's going to take some man maneuvering, but eventually you should be able to get it like this. And that's pretty much it. So, as you can see, this is the finished product. Uh, we have the barrel, and we have the rubber bands down here. I actually, uh, I changed something a little bit. I took one side of the rubber band and I looped it around this side, so the rubber band is right um, beneath the straw. But, uh, yeah, and basically, yeah, that's basically it. Um, you, you insert the dart, through here, through the bottom, and then you push it in, and then you take the rubber band, and then you fire like this. And that's all for today, folks. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you like this video, please press the like button, and if you want to see more of my stuff, please go ahead and press that subscribe. And if you have any suggestions for any for what I build next, please feel free to comment. I'm a small YouTuber, and I read through every single comment that goes my way, so please feel free to comment. I will consider whatever you say. But uh, let's put all of that stuff away. Um, this was great. Thanks, everyone. And I'll see you next time on The Gadgetsmith.